what's going on? Yeah, this is kind of going to be a, a continuation of uh, Under the Influence of Demons. Uh, basically, sometimes, I mean, you might be thinking something all grand, like fucking, uh, uh, like The Exorcist or, uh, you know, the Hollywood movies. But no, when I see it as a, as a different process, too, it's... Uh, it's just when someone gets overtaken by harsh, strong emotion. For instance, you know, love is the root of all evil because it's love but misplaced and put into the wrong things. The love of money it, the, because the multitude of thine merchandise. This is, this is it. So it's the love of these things instead of, the, you know, love of love itself. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like pure, undefiled, true things that, uh, they do exist, though we rarely see them. Uh, but the spirit of intense rage and wrath. I, I see people do it to each other all the time, so don't, if you don't understand me, don't misunderstand me. You gotta hear me out. I don't know, man. If you just catch a video, go check out some of my other videos, too, so you can get backdrop. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But... The spirit of anger and wrath, I mean, it'll go around and they'll start attacking and accusing. And it's taking on characteristics of the devil, basically. Or the kingdom of the devil. Like it says that the mouth is, the tongue is set on fire of hell. I mean, even myself, if I get on a roll, I'll start swearing. And they just get bigger bombs, bigger bombs. Until, you know, I just sound, uh, it's, it's big nasty conversation and I didn't mean I didn't intend for that to happen it's just I hear people talk like this all the time to me so it's hard to step back from that sometimes because it just comes out like second nature and even that that is influence of demons potentially you know what I'm saying because uh, those are just like little tiny pieces of negative energy possibly for these things to you know ant eat or suck it up basically but when you have these exchanges of intense anger, intense emotion, like a mother versus daughter, for instance, there's a, you see this, uh, it's almost like a nuclear reaction of negative energy that just manifests and gets worse and worse. And then the other one just comes in, adds to it. This is what I'm talking about. These Sometimes when two opposing forces, they're, they're, the reaction from them hitting, Creates a whole nother thing in itself, a whole path and of destruction. Like if you ever watch someone fight in a house, and once they start fighting, and if they don't knock each other out or take each other out right away, they they flail around the room and it shit gets broken. Everything in their path gets destroyed. Holes get knocked in the wall. Then the cops get called. Then there's someone crying. Now they're on probation. Now they're violating probation. Now they're killing people in, in a prison gang. And then Uncle Sam's making loot from that. You know what I'm saying? And the devil's laughing. This is what I mean by under the influence of demons. How just something as just anger. If you let it uh, take control, you know, uh, really bad trains of events. Almost like I said, it's like a nuclear chain reaction. And it is. It, it, every time it is like that. It's that's not, This isn't even hypothetical. Every time you see one of these situations... Just like um, uh, when you're out in public and you see someone honk the horn at another person, then this person's like, fuck you, from the, uh, you know, from his car. Now, he drives all stupid, and, you know, then he hits a pothole, pops his tire. Then, now he's on the side of the road, and, uh, you know, then uh, he gets hit by a Flint Town Stabber type guy. You know what I'm saying? Just because he was on the wrong side of town. Uh, this is how, you know, the negative energy travels. And, it's, and it jumps from person to person. It doesn't dissipate. It only changes forms. Some people out here are smart enough where they're like... And quickly, they're, they look and they say, Oh, okay, you're having a bad day. Well, I feel for you. I'm sorry for you. All right, now, hey. Yeah, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go get some fresh air. You know, and then it's, 
you don't, I mean, you go ahead, let them vent a little bit. Try not to absorb that. You know what I'm saying? Try not to let that affect your calm and, and drag you into the mud. Because, I mean, that's what these things are there for. That's like you're tempted. You're not tempted of God. You're just tempted of people because they're under the influence of demons, whether it's a subtle influence or it's a harsh influence. Because some people have deeper uh, levels of attachment. Because I'm thinking that there's got to be a payoff, too, for the person. And when I see when they hit these intense levels of rage and they're lashing out verbally and even to the point sometimes where small physical exchanges take place but i mean these are more like crimes of passion and it, because it, it is that way when you see uh intense you know a conflict like that and then the people keep it going and keep it going and they almost like it like they're uh, they're, they got some kind of opiation going on in the mind, like the chemicals, like it's releasing adrenaline, or it's releasing some kind of, there's some kind of block in there, and you're trying to, there was a buildup of pressure, and it's blowing up, and I don't know. But in the process, you know, you start cutting one person down. Now, in a way, there's these people that are uninvolved, and it's like you're indiscriminately just shooting your your bullets of negativity into every the you in order to get that person everyone behind them is hit, getting hit with your you know your friendly fire i mean not so friendly fire i mean metaphorically speaking so and then you're dragging this is how the energy it, it, it transfers i mean some people it's on the next person what do you do with that energy do you absorb it now and then multiply it and bring it back out and blast it out so the next person can get it? Do you deflect it? You Do you redirect it and swing it back at the person? You know what I'm saying? There's This this is really, uh, it's really logical once you understand what you're looking at here when it comes to energy and how. It just transfers. And it's no different when it comes to just verbal energy. Because these words themselves contain energy. So, I mean, just that's why you say one word, it can invoke a lot of responses in a different people. So, uh, it, there's power there. And, and it's not physical. It's totally non-physical. But yet, there's a power there. There's an energy just by speaking it. That's why you got to be careful how you speak. Even myself included. Look, I'm, I'm guilty. I, uh, I swear a lot. And I use a lot of uh, nasty analogies. But... I don't know, man. It's like for some reason, people, it clicks for people because, look, we're just so trained like Pavlov's dog to salivate. And, and, and so that's the way now in order to unteach someone things, you have to show them that they've been taught something. And, and now you got to recondition them a little bit, not by force, only through making them do self-analyzation. You know, but if they need something outside, if they need another set of eyes and another mind working on it with them, that's why you're there to offer them the, the help as well if, and give them an honest. Be, it, this all works through honesty. And I mean, it's difficult because we've all been taught to keep this guard up. Like I, I seen that commercial, the most interesting man in the world. He goes, there's times to be yourself, but this is not one of those times. And I mean... And since everyone's privy to that, that goes without saying. You know what I'm saying? I, I have that problem by being too honest that in, in that situation, the most interesting man in the world probably had a good time. I would have uh, not had such a good time because I'd, uh, I'd probably have to flee uh, and, and duck and dive from rotten fruit. You know what I'm saying? But, I mean, that's it's cool. <laughs> I don't take it personally. You know, hey. I don't. I, I try not to hold a grudge. I mean, hey, we're we're instructed here to uh, forgive. Here's another thing. So when you're out there enticed by your wrath and anger, you are not in the forgiveness mindset. So you're already in rebellion in a way, anyway, because you're embarking down this the uh, the path of foolishness. And trust me, I've been down the path of foolishness. Over and over and over and over. You know what I'm saying? So, I mean, my own path of foolishness. Each person, I mean, it could be 
the golden path, but you could turn it into a path of foolishness uh, just by, uh, you know, pushing. Uh, listen, what do they say? Doing the same thing over and over, respect, expecting different results is insanity. So you got to get off the rat wheel sometimes. I mean, if you enjoy the rat wheel to the point where, you know, you depend on the rat wheel, I can understand. I, you know, I got an addictive personality myself. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> but at least I can admit that. You know what I'm saying? And uh, and, and know that it just doesn't pertain to uh, the usual ways people use it, like uh, drugs. Because of the addictive personality doesn't, it's just, it's, you're easily, you're easily influenced by, you know, material things, basically. Because, I mean, even a drug is just a material thing because it's physical, it's sensual. So, and you could always go get more, but some people, sometimes people get so, uh, they, they, they just want it so bad that they cannot wait, they cannot go a day, they can't think, they can't go without it. That's when things become a problem. That's the love of the wrong thing. Some people love the wrong thing so much that it makes them do evil. It makes them fall. They're in a fallen state. <clears throat> the first way to fight in our fallen state is by recognize that uh, we're fallen in the first place. Now you can, from there, you can either choose to continue to fall or uh, try to, you know, pick yourself up and, you know, uh, start doing your journey up the back up. <laughs> So, out of the hole, man, because, uh, yeah, that's, we're all, uh, most of us are just fighting from under a hole just to get back to level land. You know, we're so far down the hole, there's water filling up, you know, under us, and there's dirt falling on top of us from above, so it's tough, but it is what it is. <clears throat>